It's a state facility created to treat violent teenagers with mental health issues, but the parents of those teens say that center is failing their kids and taxpayers. Here's Kim Holland's special assignment. I don't think that we have really good resources right now for treating trauma. He had some pretty violent fights. There were days he was being restrained two to three times a day. It's the Residential Treatment Center for Troubled Teen Boys run by the state of New Mexico. The violent teens have mental health issues and a history of aggression. It's trauma abuse. And are housed at Sequoia Adolescent Treatment Center in Albuquerque. I knew he was going to have a lot of problems. But the center has been under the magnifying glass. What I continue to be worried about is that they're not treating the most difficult of the difficult kids. Right, and you know, they get thrown away a lot. These mothers who want to hide their identity to protect their families know Sequoia well. This woman's 14-year-old grandson spent seven months as an inpatient resident. So he's had a number of diagnoses over the years. He's been on God only knows how many different medications over the years. Um, and at points in time, he has been unsafe in community. I'm his only family out here. This mother's yeah, adopted son was 14 that. when he was treated at Sequoia for five months. I knew it would be hard with him. I didn't realize that the, the people out there who were supposed to help us were going to be so, so hard to work with. The two women allege over the past five years the treatment center began to fall apart. They say programs are not as effective as they could be. There's not enough staffing and not enough trained staff. The direct care staff are the least trained and the lowest paid but they're carrying, shouldering most of the burden of the daily interaction with kids. And they say the lack of trained staff is a problem from the top down. The director of Sequoia is, is not a therapist, a doctor. She's a criminal justice major. These are, men, these are kids with mental health problems. They're talking about Administrator Carmela Sandoval, who spent 17 years at the New Mexico Behavioral Health Institute before coming to Sequoia a year ago. Is there a psychiatrist on staff? Yes, ma'am. Is this person board certified? Uh, not currently, no. And what's the status of that? Um, I believe that he's seeking board certification, but that's not a requirement. Lawmakers like Senator Gerald Ortiz Pino are asking questions about Sequoia, too. Two years ago, Pino wondered why kids were referred to out-of-state treatment centers, costing the state an extra $800 per kid per day. At one point, the 36-bed facility housed only nine boys. So they said, no, they're, they're, they're too violent, too disturbed for us to handle. And I'm saying, well, wait a second. If, if we're sending these kids out of state because we have no in-state facility for them, this is the facility that we created to do this job. Senator Ortiz Pino drew up legislation to form a task force to look at staffing levels, their qualifications, and the services. The administrator says things are slowly turning around. We're trying to take a soft, slow approach, and I will offer that change is not always comfortable for some. Oh, yes. Yeah. These mothers are skeptical about that change, and they say there's a lack of follow-up once these kids are released. The longer these kids aren't served, the more likely they are to become our next criminals. Kim Holland, KRQE News 13. To see the task force's findings on Sequoia Adolescent Treatment Center and the plan to change it, go to our website, krqe.com.